Hey guys, what is up? My name is of course Toy Gamer. Welcome back to yet another Injustice 2 video. Today, uh, we are going to be talking about uh, the other character reveals uh, in the trailer and some more news just in general uh, of that, including Robin and some other characters. So, uh, yesterday I did the Brainiac confirmed vil uh, as villain video. Um, so yeah, that's out. You go go check that out, guys, if you haven't already. Uh, as I completed this exam just like five hours ago uh it was very stressful um i hope i passed that's irrelevant though anyways um i am gonna be uh gonna i'm gonna be straight hopefully either streaming or just normal uploading batman telltale uh episode four five or three four and five uh in the next month or so plus injustice 2 beta gameplay i will be doing gameplay for that uh so be sure on the lookout for that anyways also be on lookout for batman telltale uh so yeah anyways let's get on with the video so uh yeah if you guys remember in the trailer i did a trailer reaction to it the story mode trailer uh a bunch of characters were revealed including robin as you can see right here uh robin uh you know in the story mode trailer is right here now his his costume kind of looks like I want to say uh, kind of reminds me of the like a mix between the Damian Wayne Robin and the Tim Drake Robin from Batman Arkham the Ar Batman Arkham games. Now uh, we don't know who it is. I'm I'm thinking it might it's probably gonna be um, Tim Drake Robin just because the Damian Wayne Robin uh, in the Injustice World is remember he became nightwing and so i'm just thinking i'm thinking it's going to be tim drake uh robin but yeah he does look pretty cool in that uh his costume uh we didn't get a, you know the biggest biggest uh uh you know the best kind of idea of what it's going to look like in um in game in this trailer cuz this is the more cinematic trailer but we did get a picture uh leaked uh, of Robin uh, actually in game fighting Blue Beetle that I will show right here. Uh, so yeah, it's right here as you can see. Robin is here uh, in the state in the movie theater stage. I'm assuming uh, right, you know, fighting Blue Beetle. So uh, he he does look really cool. His his costume looks uh, we can you know it's a lot better uh, you know visualized here. Um, so we can see, you know, he has the hood, and I'm starting to think, you know, with this picture that it is going to be the Damien Wayne Robin, because he looks a lot like the Damien Wayne Robin, uh, does, and plus, also, he has a sword now, I don't remember if Damien Wayne Robin had a sword in the comics, um, I know he did before he became Robin, you know, when he was still with the League of Shadows, but if he used a green one, I'm not sure, but, you know, this looks basically exactly like, uh, the Damien Wayne Robin costume, so I'm, 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 Gonna put a safe bet that it is Damian Wayne, uh, and then it looks like either I, I don't know if that's a gun or maybe his grappling launcher or maybe just the sheath for the knife there on the side as you can see. But other than that, uh, the costume does look uh, very cool. So uh, I'm glad to see that he's. In um, you know, I I feel like if Robin was in the first Injustice, that it would be more likely to have Nightwing in the second Injustice, right? And and I always thought that was gonna be the case. Um, when Injustice 1 was first coming out, I was like, oh, of course Robin's going to be in the game. But then Nightwing was in the game, and now Robin's in this game, and Nightwing's, uh, as, far we know, as far as we know, not in this game. So, you know, it's a little bit weird, I just thought I'd mention that. But, uh, other than that, yeah, Robin will, I think, will be pretty awesome in the games, or in the game, sorry. Uh, his costume looks pretty awesome, uh, and I, I just, well, I'm curious about his play style, if it's going to be anything like Nightwing's uh, was in the first game. Uh, I'm thinking it's not gonna be, but you never know uh, about it. Anyway, so he wasn't the only Batman-related character revealed in this trailer. No, there was actually two villains, two very unexpected villains. Well, one of them was unexpected for me. The other one, um, I kind of suspected because uh, for some reason people really wanted her to be in the game. And that is Bane and Poison Ivy now. Uh, Bane, you can see right here, is kind of getting like pumped up or something. Um, and he looks a lot different uh, than he did in the uh, in the first game uh he did he was in the first game uh, if you guys don't know uh so i i'm i'm you know i'm curious why they came to the conclusion that it was a good idea to reinclude bane because i i didn't really enjoy playing as bane in the first game you know i guess there's maybe a lot of bane fans out there but 
I know he's he, he's been like a really hype like really not hype sorry a really big villain in the past while like he's really prominent character in the Arkham games uh he was in the Injustice games uh and he was really prominent in the Dark Knight series in the Dark Knight movie trilogy at least Dark Knight Rises um anyways you know I don't understand why Poison Ivy was actually set to be in the game or why she was so hyped to be in the game like what why? I don't I don't understand what why people want her so much in the game. I don't understand. Uh but as you can see here, she was here, of course, uh in the cinematic trailer, that's why I'm talking about her. Uh so she yeah, she is officially confirmed. Uh and uh she actually was there actually is a supposed voice actor for her uh over on IMDb for Bane. Uh so first of all you can see here that Tasia Valenza is supposedly playing Poison Ivy. I don't remember if I talked about this earlier, but uh it's right here, so supposedly, you know, you know, hasn't been confirmed yet, but also, uh, but also Fred Tatoska Siora is supposedly playing Bane, uh, so that's pretty cool, and then you've also got some other characters on the list. So this thing is really cool, supposedly Matt Let Letcher, uh, the guy who actually plays E. Borthon, uh slash Reverse Flash, on Legends of Tomorrow and The Flash is actually going to be voicing him in game because if you guys remember, uh, if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you get uh, a skin for The Flash which turns him into Reverse Flash and also dialogue, movement, everything changes him into literally a different character. So that is going to be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to play as Reverse Flash, uh, indeed. And then we also have Damian Dark himself playing both Nightwing, Damian Wayne, which is sort of confirmed to be in the game. You know. Uh, off of IMDb standards, which is a possibility, and also the Flash. So don't know what, how much uh, you know, truth there is to this. Obviously, IMDb isn't the most reliable source. Just covering the news. And then we've also got Kevin Michael Richardson supposedly voicing a Dark Side. So uh, that's pretty cool. Move on the list. So Adrian Mishler is uh, supposedly voicing Power Girl. Which again is a skin for Supergirl, which turns her into Power Girl, you know, dialogue and everything, just like for Green Lantern John Stewart and for the Reverse Flash. And then this part was really weird. So here we've got Perry Shen voicing Jamie Reyes version of a Blue Beetle. So that's pretty cool. He kind of has bluish hair. And then we've also got Eric Lopez voicing Blue Beetle as well. So that's uh, it's quite interesting. And then finally here we've got Chris Cox playing the voice of Deadshot. Now, as I've said in the past, I don't know how I how trustworthy IMDb is. Uh, you guys say that it's not very trustworthy, so, you know, but I'm still going to cover it, as I said b before. Uh, but that is basically uh, all the news I have for you today. But there is uh, some Injustice character packs uh, on the Injustice mobile app, as you can see right here. We've got both the character pack for uh, Superman and a character pack for Aquaman, so I uh, thought that was worth mentioning. Anyways, before I get uh, more sidetracked, uh, yeah, that is basically it. So I'm I am gonna be going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be flying uh, the day this is uploaded. Um, that this is uploading, I am gonna be flying uh, to uh, Campbell. Uh, it's not important where I'm flying, actually. Uh, you guys don't really care. Uh, anyways, I'm going to be flying somewhere, so uh, I'm going to be stopping by Curious Comics on the way, hopefully. I wish to my local comic book shop. Uh, and I'm going to be stopping there and hopefully uh, searching for a couple Injustice comics, maybe picking up a few. Uh, if I can, I've got a little bit of spare change, like five bucks or something. So, you know, you know, back maybe enough to get a couple back issues, hopefully, uh, of... Injustice, if they're if they are qualified as back issues, there hopefully they will be. Um, I'm gonna stop at a couple different ones, probably actually only one. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, I will pick them up, and then I will, uh, if I do pick them up, if I do pick up any comics, I will, uh, you know, show you which ones over on my other channel, my unboxing channel. It's called the Unbox Cherry. You can go check it out. Uh, go to my channel, and then just go to featured channels, and it's right there. So, anyways, enough uh, self promotion. Uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smack that like button, and uh, I